Hey everyone, I'm very excited to do a demo and review of the new number seven serum foundation. Now obviously I have two foundations in my hands here, and that's because when I went to my local Walgreens, I noticed that there were two serum foundations. So I decided to just pick them both up. We'll try one on one side, one on the other, and compare. So I'm gonna start with the Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum which comes in the blue box, the bottle top is black, and we're gonna use the shade Cool Vanilla on this side, and the top is a wet swatch, and the bottom is once it's dried. So I'm gonna start out with a pump of the shade Cool Vanilla on the back of my hand, and just for the sake of clarity, I'm gonna leave up the picture of that box when I'm talking about this particular foundation in the corner there. And initially, I noticed it's a very creamy, moisturizing formula. Now I'm filming this at a different time of day than I normally do, and as you can see, looking out my beauty window at my neighbor's farm, we have lots of clouds with sun peeking through every once in a while, so my apologies for any glitches in my lighting today. So initially, as I'm trying this out, I'm struck by how similar it feels to the foundation I just reviewed last week, which is the LYS, not Lease, as I was mistakenly pronouncing it last week, but the LYS Serum Foundation. So I purchased this for $15.99 at my local Walgreens. You get one fluid ounce of product. It's an SPF 15 and a medium coverage. So here is one layer of product on the left side, but I'm gonna go ahead and build up a second layer before we move on to the other side. Oh, and before I forget, for all of you who enjoy watching my little Norm, AKA the Foundation Lady mascot, stay tuned toward the end of the video because we're gonna have a little get ready with me that I think you might like to see. So as far as shades go with this, on the Walgreens website, they show that they have 11 shades. However, in store, it looked like they had many more than that. And it is a very inclusive shade range. So if you don't see your shade online, you might want to check in store and see if they have it there. So now we're going to try the Restore and Renew Multi Action Serum Foundation. It comes in the pink box. It has the white bottle cap. And on this side, I'm going to use the shade Calico, which is one shade lighter than Cool Vanilla, which I used on the other side. When I pump this on the back of my hand, I immediately notice the difference in viscosity from the one I used on the other side. This one definitely feels lighter, it's a little more liquidy, and check out that neutral shade. It is so neutral, it almost has a little bit of an olive undertone to it, which I don't know if you can see as well on camera, but I absolutely love it because it immediately starts to cancel out my redness. And that's one thing I just really appreciate about the number seven line is that they do such a good job creating true neutrals. Now to start comparing this to the other side, this one says it's a buildable light to medium coverage versus the medium coverage that we had on the other side. But I have to say that even though this fluid is very thin, it's very pigmented, so a little bit seems to be going a very long way with it. In fact, if I had to compare it to another foundation, I would say it almost reminds me a little bit of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer, which just came out a few months ago that I really like because it's so thin, but just a little bit is all you need for a good coverage. Now, as far as price goes, this one comes in a little bit pricier at $19.99, versus $15.99 that we had on the other side. They have 15 shades, and this one has an SPF 20 versus an SPF 15. Now, being serum foundations, both of these have ingredients in them that are supposedly really good for your skin. And I've heard a lot of dermatologists talk about how good the number seven skincare line is. So here's hoping that they've used some of that expertise in creating these foundations. So here we have both sides. They're both excellent. I have to say I like this one better though, this Restore and Renew on the right. I just like the thinner consistency. I like how it built up better, but honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with either one. Keep in mind, I have normal to somewhat dry skin, so that could be why I like the one on the right better. But overall, these are outstanding. So let's go in for a transfer test on them with a bit of white t-shirt. And you'll see the Lift and Luminate, which was on the left, just a, the tiniest bit of transfer. And then the Restore and Renew, which is on the right in the pink box. And once again, just the tiniest bit of transfer onto a white t-shirt. And as far as the water and sweat test, it doesn't advertise itself as being 
waterproof or sweatproof, but this did not budge. And here are some comparison swatches. The number seven, Lift and Luminate in Cool Vanilla. The number seven, Restore and Renew in Calico. The Kosas Skin Improving Foundation in Light Neutral 140. And the L'Oreal True Match Nude Serum in Very Light. And then we have those exact same swatches, but in sunlight for comparison. And some quick shots of how the foundation looks in different light. I was especially impressed that there was no flashback with flash photography. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, get ready with Norm. Now, as you can see, this big old hunk of love lives by the mantra, when you look good, you feel good. And this little ladies man likes to look good, as I'm sure you can tell. So he loves it when his pops puts on his little blue suit and he, there we go. I tell you what, I love this little man just as he is and I'm so glad that you guys are getting such enjoyment out of him too. Now, just a moment here, we'll look at how he's very in style with his crop top. And he's very excited because he's getting some new outfits today from his Chewy order that should be coming in at any moment. Anyway, little man just wanted to pass on some love to all of you for all your support. And speaking of, I'm on Facebook now. Just look for me under Foundation Lady. As you can see, I have a whopping two followers right now. <laughs> but it's just a place for us to chat more about foundations. I put up articles. I put up uh, retro foundation advertisements, which I love. And hey, you never know. Maybe I'll put up some more pictures of Norm. So join me there. Can't wait to connect with you on the Book of Faces.